Hello and welcome. Would you like to use interactive worksheets during your classes? Well, then this video is for you. Using these interactive worksheets with exercises actually brings fun and games along with learning into your classroom. So join me, Dr. Sunanda Roy, to learn how to make interactive worksheets using PowerPoint presentation. I will be using some simple ready-made exercises to show you how to make them interactive. Though these exercises are for lower standard students, but you can use your imagination and your creativity to come up with exercises which suit your level of students. Now, for example, this is a fill in the blanks exercise where students have to fill in the blanks using who, whose or whom. There are three sentences that I have typed over here. The first one is Dash teaches kids at school. Second, Dash did you invite? And third, Dash cell phone keeps ringing. These are all ending with question marks. So these are questions. Uh, you will also see that I have inserted an image of a teacher to match with the first sentence and a GIF of a mobile which keeps on ringing to match with the third sentence. Now, in case you're wondering how I typed these dashes, all you need to do is on your keyboard, you need to click on shift, keep it pressed and then you click on the underscore key. And with that, you will be able to get these blanks. All right, let's see how we can make fill in the blanks interactive. Now, this is in the slideshow, so we need to escape. We go into modifying this slide. So, the first thing that we need to do is we go to insert and we need to enter a text box. So, let's select, we click on it and we drag and that's your text box. So, what is the answer to this? We type in who teaches who teaches kids at school okay what is the font size you'll see that it is 32 so let's click on who the text box and increase it to 32 so that it matches with our sentence now we need to just align it properly so it looks you can use your up page up page down home and your end keys which are the um keys which uh, show you directions that up down left and right okay so we have this now once we have it we need to give animation to this text box we go to animations um there are animations different animations i like to use wipe now over here you'll see that it goes the effect is from uh, bottom to top so instead of that you can take left to right because it's easy to read that way so now that we have given animation to this text box what we need to do is we need to duplicate this text box for these two other answers so we for doing that we just press ctrl d and there you have your duplicate text box let's put it over here and what is the correct answer over here whom did you invite so we just increase it there there you have it so whom did you invite all right again we select the text box Control d and we place it over here and whose cell phone whose cell phone keeps ringing right so we can shift it and we can put it over here right so now your worksheet is ready with the answers interactive answers so let's see how it looks when you will be showing it to your students on slideshow so imagine that you are conducting a lesson a lecture on uh, who who's and whom and uh, you have asked students to fill in the blanks so you ask them the first question uh, when they give you the answer all you need to do is click and you will get the answer and you can ask them the second question and again click and there you get the other answer too and so on so you can use this when you are showing powerpoint presentations during face-to-face -face teaching learning situation 
or you can also use this when you if you're using online teaching and you're using PowerPoint presentation and in between you can ask students to, um, you know just to find out whether they are with you so it's like a formative assessment going on so this was regarding fill in the blanks let's see what else we can do there's another one which is match the following so this is this question is match the following antonyms that's opposites so you'll see that there are two columns this is column a and column b we have four words under column A, but we have five words options under column B. We normally put in uh, an extra option so that students don't give you answers, uh, you know, guesswork answers, especially when it comes to the last answer, because by default, then they will suppose they know the answers to only the first three, but they don't know the answer to the fourth one. And by default, they will select the one which is not being matched and that becomes right but that that does not indicate whether they really know the answer and that's why we normally put in another option right so let's see how we can make uh, match the following interactive so we go again into the mode where we can make changes right so here again we go into insert shapes and this time we will select line so we go to the word cold and the opposite of cold is hot. So we select on hot, we leave it. Now we need to format this line because it's really not visible. So what you do is you go to format and in that you will see that you can have different types of lines. Over here we can select this thick line and it can be seen. All right, so now we need to get animation to this line so we go to animation again we can go to wipe and we go from left to right there that's ready now once this is ready again the way we did with the previous in the previous exercise with the text box we do the same thing over here so Control d duplicate so we put it near bad and what is the opposite of bad it is good so yeah let's position it over there again control d sad sad and happy there it's as easy as this again control d day and night opposite of day is night so here we have got words with their answers and it is animated so let's see how we how this it looks in the slideshow so when you ask your students okay one by one you have to give me the answer to what is the opposite of cold then if they say hot so you click and there it is and so on bad good sad happy day and night so this was how to animate match the following there's another exercise which can be animated and this is mostly uh, related to diagrams and so this can be mostly used for science and geography uh, because these are the subjects mostly where you have diagrams which have been which need to be labeled but of course there are uh, labeled diagrams in other subjects too all right so I have taken this image from uh, the net uh, online uh, please remember if, whenever you are inserting any images on your PowerPoint presentation make sure that these images are from websites which provide you royalty free uh, images uh, so these are free images there are lots of websites which are available online so that there are no copyright issues so this is one of these images so this is an image regarding water cycles so you can see that um, water cycle we all know is evaporation then condensation precipitation and then it gets collected so let's see how we can make this diagram interactive so again you press escape now again you go on to insert over here this time we are going to select a rectangle so we select a rectangle exactly so that it will cover the label we can also uh, change the color 
you can fill the shape make it a little lighter in color you can change the outline you can make it dark blue and so you can cover up the label uh, i have already done prepared four such labels now what how do we make this interactive what you need to do is now you are going to insert the labels for it so we start off with this because this is the first one that is evaporation now that you have typed it evaporation you need to do the next thing is animation so over here we can also um, please remember that you will be giving animation to the word so select the word and then split because if you select the box then the box gets animated but we need to select the word now once this has been done again control d and you've got evaporation again so you can put it over here and the word over here for it's not evaporation but it is condensation so condensation right um you can also shift the box a bit because it should cover the box underneath right again control d and you put it over here and you have what is this this is precipitation or rain precipitation then we have the last one so again you have to select that control d and you can put it over here and you have this is collection because water gets collected collection all right so um let's see now we've got all the entire process so when you start showing the slideshow one by one it comes you can ask the student okay what is the first process that takes place so that is uh, due to the sunlight there is evaporation then after that you ask them what's the next thing when they tell you condensation you again click and condensation again you ask them what's the next one precipitation so they tell you precipitation you click it and last of all finally is collection you can use this while you are teaching so the labels come one by one when you are teaching but uh, this can also be used again as assessment formative assessment where you show them the labels blank uh, boxes and then they are going to fill in the labels so this is related to the diagram so we now go on to the next type of exercise that is select the odd one out again select the odd one out you can have it for different subjects for different levels i've taken uh, english over here english language and the level is from a lower classroom uh, class but you can take it for higher classes also so in odd one out what normally happens is that you have questions where you have four to five words and they need to identify which is the odd one out so we have the first one we have here is winter spring autumn windy so can you guess which is the odd one out yes it's windy which is odd one out because winter spring and autumn are names of seasons all right so let's see how we can make this uh, odd one out exercise interactive let's go let's leave the slide show mode right over here now we what we need to do we again go to insert here we go to shapes and there is a shape which is called as a frame so you select frame we are going to put a frame around windy let's place it right and you can format it by changing its color it can be red with a blue background or you can also have a red black background so um and just for your information you can thicken see with this um, yellow diamond shape can you see it so if you drag it it becomes thin 
and if you pull it, it becomes thick. So you can change the uh, thickness of your frame. Now we need to give animation. So we go to animation and over here what we will do is we will use the wheel animation, right? And if you want to make it faster, you can decrease the duration so it becomes faster, right? Okay, so again, what we need to do is just duplicate it. So control D. Second one, we have socks, spoon, shoe and shirt, which is the odd one out. Of course, it's the spoon because the others are all things that you wear. Again, for the third one, let's see, run house boy tomato. So it is run because run is a verb and all the others are nouns. So again, control D and you have another frame and you just put it on run. So let's see how it looks again in slideshow. You have these words, you ask your students, which is the odd one out from the first question. So they have to select, then you just click and you have Bindi. Then you again click after they give you the correct answer and so on. So this is the way that you can make your formative assessments interactive and fun for your students. You could actually write these exercises on the blackboard or whiteboard while teaching. But then imagine the time you would require to do so. Preparing these exercises on PowerPoint presentation before your classes will save time and you can use that time for interacting or even um, discussing more with your students and making them active learners. These tricks can be used when you are using PowerPoint presentations or on smart boards during face-to-face -face interaction in your classrooms or during online classes using video conference apps. You can also share these PowerPoint presentations with your students online or maybe through via mail and they could do all of these exercises maybe with their parents with them or uh, they could do it themselves. So these exercises can be done by students of all ages and for all subjects. Hope you like this video and you will use these interactive exercises making your teaching learning fun. Do check out my other videos regarding PowerPoint presentation. You will find the links in the description box and on the screen also. So until next time, thank you and all the best coming up with exercises to make your teaching learning in classroom or online interactive and fun for your students.